Welcome to What Is Wednesday, and today we are talking about Doctor Who. This is a video meant for people that have never seen Doctor Who. They don't really know what this is about, but people talk about it. So what is Doctor Who? Doctor Who is a BBC show that began airing back in 1963. There was a break around 1989, and the show then successfully came back in 2005. So how could a show last that long? Wouldn't the actors get noticeably older? The lead character of the Doctor has been played by 12 different actors so far. But it's not like James Bond, where they kind of pretend it was the same person the whole time. See, the Doctor is an alien called a Time Lord. And these aliens, when they die, they basically regenerate with a new body and kind of a new personality. Hence why the same character could be played by 12 different actors. These doctors are each unique and have their own quirks, yet they're all the same. So imagine this, the first doctor somehow dies in a tragic and somehow meaningful way and is immediately regenerated as a new doctor with the same memories, but often a different personality. Some of these early episodes, actually most of these early episodes, have been lost due to technical hiccups or the tapes being erased. There's been efforts lately where old collectors might have recordings, so they're trying to give some of this footage back to the BBC for historical significance, and BBC has been working on reconstructing these early episodes using what footage and sound they do have. So over the course of all these years, there has been 12 Doctors, and since the show restarted in 2005, we are now onto our fourth Doctor. So what does this Doctor do? And is he really a Doctor? This is a little complicated as the various Doctors have said different things over this huge time span, but it's generally believed that he uses the term Doctor to mean someone who makes others better though he does sometimes showcase actual medical knowledge, sometimes. He only introduces himself as the Doctor, which usually prompts others to respond, Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. So how does he make people better? Doctor Who is a science fiction show which focuses on his travels throughout time and space, where he often helps other people that are in need of help. It's a very Monster of the Week style show, each week dropping him in unique circumstances that he must overcome. He travels through time and space using something called the TARDIS. It's a blue police box on the outside, but is much bigger on the inside. It's 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 bigger on the inside. He doesn't travel alone as the doctor always has a companion or two that he travels with, often someone that he rescued for some perilous adventure. Sometimes there's romance, other times it is purely platonic. These companions often serve as our proxy. They react to these strange and often literally alien planets the way that we would. In terms of some of their challenges, one of the most consistent enemies of the Doctor has been an alien race called the Daleks who are known for their desire to exterminate. exterminate. The appeal of Doctor Who is twofold. It's a fun and adventurous show with some nice twists and turns for someone looking for some light science fiction fun. But it's also got some moments of depth as you become incredibly close to these doctors, who you know have a finite lifespan. Each viewer tends to gravitate towards a certain doctor as their favorite, with David Tennant and Matt Smith being favorites lately, since the show has been revitalized. If you wanted to watch Doctor Who, you can start with the 2005 relaunch and catch the whole thing streaming on sites like Netflix. So those are the basics, the very basic, basic, basics about Doctor Who. So if there's other stuff that you want to primer in, little facets of nerd culture that you missed out on, let me know in the comments what you want to see in the coming weeks. So thanks for watching. I'm your target demographic, and we'll see you next time. Doctor, you know it can't end like that.